My name is Dan Olson, and I am a naturalist and an expedition leader with Lindblad Expeditions National Geographic. We are on board the National Geographic Resolution, one of the newest ships in the fleet. We're traveling in South America, in Chile, Patagonia, and more specifically, Tierra del Fuego. Cairo Quinca is on the island of Tierra del Fuego near the Straits of Magellan. Karakinka Natural Park is awesome. You have these cliffs just rising out of the sea, waterfalls, but you also have wildlife. Upland geese, ashy-headed geese, Magellanic woodpeckers, and the massive southern elephant seal. Karakinka is a natural park, privately owned and managed by the Wildlife Conservation Society. Limblad Expeditions has fostered a relationship with WCS, the Wildlife Conservation Society. And together, we are helping their researchers to visit Karokinka. Karokinka is the only inland albatross nesting site in the world. It is very difficult to access the island that has the albatross nests, and we are able to assist the researchers at Karokinka by delivering them to the island with our zodiacs. The albatross project at Karokinka is one in which they are counting the number of nests, the number of eggs, the number of chicks that survive, and looking at the viability of that as a breeding site. The location of Karokinka is interesting because it funnels a lot of marine trash and plastics right down to the beach where there is a high concentration of wildlife. The researchers at Karokinka are looking at the source of the plastics and have a parallel education program to help teach the local fishermen the impacts of the plastics. Under the right conditions, we can help collect trash, but also to document it. Our guests are always interested in helping to remove some of this trash. It feels good, and we see a visible impact in the beautification of the area. The researchers at Karokinka are also helping to monitor the elephant seal population. Varying numbers come ashore in any given year, and the researchers can help keep track of population dynamics or the general health of the animals as they come ashore to breed. Karokinka is one of only three breeding sites in all of Chile for the southern elephant seal. We see seals coming ashore, looking for mates, establishing territories. You see confrontations between these massive males grunting and prepared to fight, and they are essentially staking out their territory for mating rights. Personally, my favorite thing about Karokinka is the elephant seals, the condors, and the wanakos. Yet you also have deep forests and waterfalls, and the waterfall plant a beautiful red flower. The trail to the waterfall at Karakinka takes us along a freshwater river that has elephant seals wallowing in it. It takes us past the fascine scrub and takes us through the holly leaf barberry, the calafate bush, and eventually we end up in the moss and lichen encrusted southern beech tree forests. Karokinka is a very worthwhile place to visit, not only for the wildlife, not only for the cliffs and the waterfalls, not only for the plants, but all of that wrapped into one gives you a wonderful slice of the ecology of Chile and Patagonia. Mm -hmm.